For many in Armenia's capital of Yerevan, life is on hold. Following intense fighting last week on Armenia's border with Azerbaijan, some in Yerevan have closed shops and canceled events. Others continue working, but with their minds hundreds of kilometers away on their fellow countrymen. We're in a weird state of we're trying to continue moving forward, but we can't plan anything ahead, not even tomorrow. Everyone is just waiting for something, and we don't know what that is exactly that we're waiting for. Armenia and Azerbaijan are bitter enemies. They're both former Soviet republics that have fought over their territorial borders in a modern context since 1991, following the breakup of the Soviet Union. Fighting breaks out regularly and is largely concentrated on an area called Nagorno-Karabakh. The latest round of fighting broke out on September 12th, when the Armenian Defense Ministry said that Azeri armed forces struck Armenian border towns with drones and large caliber firearms. The Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense confirmed the strikes, but said they were in response to Armenian shelling. We came out and saw that it was no longer possible to stay in the houses that serious shelling was taking place. We were very scared. We ran away from the houses to avoid being trapped under the rubble and hid near this big wall. The neighbors also gathered and hid there. The fighting was paused two days later following a negotiated ceasefire. When the dust settled, Armenia's Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said the number of victims and missing persons reached 207. The Azeris said 80 of their military personnel were killed. It was the worst flare-up between these long-time adversaries in two years. That was when fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh drew in Azeri ally Turkey and led to a full-scale war that killed thousands. But last week's fighting was different because much of it reportedly took place on sovereign Armenian territory. We're talking about you know 50 to 100 to 1 odds. These are major armies with the latest weaponry uh, attacking a genocide survivor state, blockaded, landlocked, partitioned. Uh, so it's not a fair fight in, in, in any sense. While Azerbaijan can count on Turkey for military support, Armenia's traditional ally in Russia has morphed into a regional peacemaker. Moscow in 2020 brokered the deal that ended 45 days of fighting. This month, however, an initial ceasefire brokered by the Kremlin quickly fell apart. Armenians now worry that with Russia's focus on Ukraine, this latest ceasefire will do the same. We're clueless about what's next. We're clueless about what city or uh, village or perhaps a full-scale war will just start tomorrow.